I'm on fire, and now I think I'm ready to bust them. Natalie, what are you doing? We're taping now. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm just practicing my rock star moves. Okay. Welcome to the 17th edition of From the Middle. I'm Kirk. And I'm Natalie, and this is Web City Middle School. Today is Wednesday, the 25th of February. While Natalie is still singing, let's go to the fifth graders. Have you heard about slavery? Well, if you haven't, I'm Sarah, and I'm going to tell you all about it. The fifth graders are studying slavery and history. The slaves were traded in West Africa for cloth, rum, tobacco, and even guns. Then they were taken aboard gruesome ships to be taken across the Atlantic Ocean. The ships were terrible. There was blood and mucus all over the floor, and slaves got very little or no exercise. The smell was horrible, and many slaves died. When they got to shore in the Americas, they were branded and sold from their families. They were taken to a plantation where they were handed strange tools and shouted at in a language they didn't understand. When they didn't understand what they were supposed to do, or when they resisted, they were whipped, burned, or even killed. For many years, they were treated this way. Very few made it to freedom. Now here's Christopher, Christopher with News of Art. Bye! Hi, it's Christopher, and we've been doing a large assortment and variety of things in the ways of the canvas. In other words, art. What we've actually been doing is our still life. Still lives are pictures of one scene with no moving or living components. Using our knowledge of shading, tints, and color blending, we make the most realistic picture possible. You probably know what happens when you forget or stay off task in Mrs. Niggemeyer's class. Okay, maybe it's not that drastic, but we still might have to start all over again. This has been Christopher with Art. Now back to Kurt and Natalie. Art is fun. Yeah, because you can express yourself. Music is my kind of art. All sing ladies. All sing ladies. Speaking of all music, sing. last night was a great band concert, and everybody brought food in honor of Aaron Eilert. As of Monday, 1,224 items were brought. Not including the items brought to the band concert. I'll sing. I forgot well, the words. Well, she's singing again. Imagine that. Let's see what the sixth graders are up to. Hey, WCMS, this is Alexis. Have you ever seen a gallbladder removal surgery? The sixth graders did. On Thursday, February 19th, two surgical nurses from Hamilton Hospital came and talked to the sixth grade classes because we were learning about the systems of the body and science. They showed us pictures of a colonoscopy and a gastroscopy. Then we watched a video of the inside of a person when they had their gallbladder removed. For me, the video was interesting but hard to watch. Thank you very much to the two nurses for coming to see us. Now to Noah. Whoa, deja vu, if you see me before. I'm Noah, and sixth graders are learning spreadsheets in Mr. Schulten's computer lab recently. We've just started using Microsoft Excel as the spreadsheet program. And I have heard from Mr. Schultz's you can use spreadsheets in businesses and you can put formulas in them. We learned like words like <laughs> active cell and line chart. You can transfer your information into a graph. Otherwise, we still have a lot to learn. Thank you. Now here are the anchors. Do you want to be a surgical person? Um, no, not really. I want to be a rock star. Well, you sure do rock. <coughs> oh, no, you did not. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh. While we argue, how about we go to the seventh graders? Hi, I'm Alex. This is Madeline Kane. She's a seventh grader at Webster City Middle School. She's a gymnast, and she's had many accomplishments. Would you like to tell us about some of them? Sure. I went to Navy Pier Chicago a couple weeks ago and I got second place at the world's largest gymnastics invitational on vault. So what exactly is vault? You run down and punch on this springy board, put your hands on this thing, flip around, and try to stick it. What's your favorite accomplishment in gymnastics? Um, a couple years ago and every year since I've met Sean Johnson. And what was that like? 
It was pretty cool. She's really short. For people who don't know, who exactly is Sean Johnson? Um, Sean Johnson was on the United States Olympic team, and this past summer, she won the gold medal on beam. So, could you show us your standing back tuck? Sure. Well, this has been Alex and Madeline. If you see Madeline in the hallway, congratulate her on some of her many achievements. Now, off to Marshall. Hello, my name is Marshall, reporting from the middle. In seventh grade science, we are learning about classification. Classis classification ha is how you sort leaving things into different groups. You can classify things by putting them first into a kingdom. Then after you put it into a kingdom, you, you put it into a group called phylum. After you put it into a, its phylum, you can put it into a class. After you put it into its class, it's classified into a family. After its family, it goes into a genus. And finally, after its genus, it goes into a species. Only one type of living thing can be in the species category. If you forget the name of all the groups, you can remember it by remembering this sentence. King Philip came over for good spaghetti. The first letter in every word is also the first word in every word of the seven classification groups in order. Now back to Kirk and Natalie. Ooh, science rocks. Yeah, it does. Moving on to gymnastics. Let's see you do a backflip, Kirk. Yeah, I don't think so. Whatever. Yeah, okay. How about you do a backflip then? How about we go to the eighth graders? Fine. Hey everyone, it's Caleb. Next Tuesday, March 3rd, a jazz band festival event will take place in the Commons, 7 p.m. here at the middle school. 6th to 12th grade jazz bands will perform their best work for the audience. The 7th and 8th grade jazz band has been working very hard, attending practices at 7 a.m. every Wednesday. They will be playing songs that include Tuxedo Junction, Blues Machine, and my favorite, TWA. In a few weeks, the jazz band will also be touring at the nursing homes and at the Stratford School. They will also be putting on an instrumental petting zoo for the local preschool students. We'd like to also thank all our supporters and Mr. Anderson. Come see an amazing performance on March 3rd here at school at 7 p.m. Now to Morgan. 2,170 miles of literally blood, sweat, and tears. That's the Oregon Trail. Hey, Morgan here, and if you haven't noticed, I'm talking about the Oregon Trail. And no, it's not in Briggs Woods. A couple of days ago, 8th grade history classes have been working on starting the Oregon Trail project. We are to make a journal or a diary of what it was like traveling the Oregon Trail, starting from when we left home in the eastern states, even Iowa, or overseas, like in England. You, continue, you then continue on to Independence, Missouri, where your real journey begins. We have to be sure to write about everything we saw, did, and experienced. For instance, maybe your name is Mary Brown. Your husband's name could be Henry. Don't forget about your kids and grandparents. On the trail, a family member could die, the wheels of your wagon could stick in the mud, even break, you could ride in the wagon, ride a horse, or walk the entire 2,170 miles to Oregon. Some choice. You have to write about your emotions and what happens to you when you get to your destination. Some math is involved in this too. Your wagon can only hold 1,000 BWUs. BWUs is the bulk weight unit, which is a combination of the size and shape of each uh, size and weight of each item you take with you. Your teacher gives you a sheet with all the possible things you could take. But be very precise because you can't carry less than 1,000 BWUs or more than 1,000 BWUs. Not even one over or under. This project is a huge chunk of our grade. I'm talking like 300 points, give or take. We will get around five to six weeks to journal and work. I'm very excited about this project and I hope others are too. It should be super easy. Piece of cake. Just use your imagination. Oh, and don't get behind. That could mean summer school. Now back to Kirk and Natalie. Happy trails. Hey, I'm in jazz band. Wow, really? That's awesome. Yeah, I know, isn't it? You can be my rock band. Um, how about no? Well, sorry, people, but we're out of time. We got to rock on. Okay. See you next time. From, From the, the middle. middle.